Entering this year, the Ultimate Fighting Championship's Brain Trust figured that 2020 would climax with a blockbuster rematch between the outlandish Irish star Conor McGregor and the undefeated lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. After McGregor's 42nd dismantling of Donald Cerrone in January, Dana White, the UFC's president, spoke openly about matching McGregor against Nurmagomedov again, but in a venue befitting the fight's appeal. White mentioned the O2 Arena in London and AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, as possible destinations, provided Nurmagomedov defeated Tony Ferguson in a title fight that was scheduled for April in Brooklyn. Then the coronavirus pandemic scrambled those plans and the rest of the sports world. The April event was postponed, and its featured fight restructured when pandemic restrictions kept Nurmagomedov from traveling to the United States from Russia. Ferguson then lost over five punishing rounds in May to Justin Gaethje, a hard-hitting lightweight from Colorado. Now the biggest U-bout of the year will pit Nurmagomedov against Gaethje on Saturday, on Yas Island in Abu Dhabi, in front of officials and a broadcast crew, but without spectators or revenue from ticket sales. Yet White won't categorize Saturday's main event as a consolation prize for a Nurmagomedov-McGregor rematch that has not yet materialized. Instead, he calls the fight a potential record-breaker and the high point in a trying year. You have all the ingredients for a massive fight, White said this week. This thing is tracking to be the biggest fight we've ever done. What makes White so confident that a matchup that wasn't on the radar at the start of this year will be so appealing to fans? Nurmagomedov, 32, is a suffocating pressure fighter who supplements his relentless wrestling with well-placed punches and kicks. His 28-0 record is rare in a sport in which the elites are often pushed to fight top competition. I know he knows how to wrestle, Nurmagomedov said of Gaethje. But what about wrestling for 25 minutes? Gaethje, 31, was an All-American wrestler his junior year at the University of Northern Colorado. But as a mixed martial artist, he prefers crowd-pleasing, high-impact strikes. Against Nurmagomedov, Gaethje intends to wrestle just enough to keep the fight on his terms, and he has said he didn't even study video of Nurmagomedov during training camp. I'm always focused on being my best self, Gaethje said. I will not allow him to put me on the fence. If I do, then I'm screwed. When the New York State Athletic Commission refused to approve Nurmagomedov Ferguson in April, as coronavirus cases overwhelmed New York City, the U began an intensive search for a new site, with a local commission comfortable allowing fights during a pandemic. White mentioned the possibility of a private island for fighters based outside the United States, and the U.